Hey guys, welcome to the fifth episode of the Grabcast podcast. I'm your host Josh. We've got Brian. Hello. And Al. Hi. So Lee is again not here, not because he's doing bad things with kids like Gary insinuated. Uh, he is actually in Kentucky right now climbing mountains. So that's right. pretty interesting. Not diddling kids. Not diddling kids. I mean, which could I think, be in Kentucky. Uh, that's a good point. Um, I hope mountains are a uh, kid diddle free. I hope a lot of places are a kid diddle free place, but you yeah. know. Lee doesn't diddle kids. We're joking. That is a joke. There is no kidly diddling. Grabcast is not. Kidly diddling. Grabcast does not endorse any forms of kidly diddling whatsoever. <laughs> I like kiddly diddling. Kiddly diddling? That's a good... I said that at work one time. I was like, that guy looks like a kiddly diddler. They're like, oh, what? I'm like, you know, a kiddly diddler. Like, are you... <laughs> do you diddle kids? I'm like, I don't diddle kids just because I know the term kiddly diddler. I don't think... It, is it really kiddly? Kiddly diddler. I don't know. You know, just, Kiddly diddly did. And I miss you. Kiddly diddly did. <laughs> and I got diddled. Oh. <laughs> So that's a start, yeah. yeah. So it's a podcast. It's a podcast. Podcast. I'm podcast. You want to know the greatest thing about this podcast? The mic's plugged in. Yay! And it's all set up Yay! and it's inputting, so that's awesome. I hope so. So, so yeah, go Josh. Learning new things. <laughs> and you, the people, know, know what a podcast sounds like if you don't have the proper equipment. So sounds I like hope this. you learn. <laughs> a little bit, you know, a little bit, a little bit. Not really. Close. Speaking of scary things. My first topic I want to talk about Segue. is is the Joker. The Joker. Oh yeah, the Joker. Oh, Jared course. Leto's Joker. Yeah. What are your thoughts, Josh? You don't seem very happy. Um, like most of the internet. <laughs> like everyone, I I really like some of the teases they did because I thought it looked really cool. And I I personally was really excited like for the Killing G- Joke. We had like the camera. Yeah, that was really really cool, and I thought that um, I thought Jared Leto was going to do a really good job. He will. I, yeah, no, for sure. I think he's going to portray the character, regardless of look, I think he'll portray the character very, very well. Like he, you know, he seems like he knows what he's doing. Good actor. Uh, I know a lot of people were nervous, especially after Heath Ledger. Like, how are they going to do another Joker? Uh, yeah. I think the biggest thing is that they're separate characters. Like, there was Heath Ledger's Joker, and now there's going to be Jay Leto's Joker. So I think that's awesome. What, With- if, what if I told you the tats aren't actually going to be like on him in the movie? That would be cool. And, and that's what people have been saying. Is like I think I don't know if it's confirmed, but they were saying, "Hey, the tattoos won't be on the Joker." I, you know, I and hopefully the grills as well. I, was, I think the grills is what got. So for those of you who haven't seen the picture, um, it's a picture. Look it up. Yeah, it's a picture of Jared Leto. He's got his hands on his head. He's screaming. He's got grills on like the front few of his teeth, and then he's got like tats all over the place. And I'm not like the tats are okay that's what I was going to say in all honesty I'm not too worried about the tats the tats it's, it's the grills the, that get me the, the, the damage on the forehead I yeah. didn't like that yeah that I, was I would weird. like there to be nothing on nothing there really? should be nothing on the face Jon Snow um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I don't I, I think the face would you know because that's that's the makeup that's like the Joker's thing because yeah. uh, like the arms and stuff I get you know it would kind of make sense that the Joker would have tattoos but it's the grills that really like uh, got me yeah. with with a name like the Suicide Squad, though, you, you kind of have to think, like, it, it's going to be a little grittier. Oh, yeah, like, for yeah. sure, which I think will be... I mean, like, you can't have a movie with the Joker kind of like that without yeah. it being gritty. Like, those Absolutely. kitty ones just kind of, like, don't portray him as well. Not like a Jack Nicholson Joker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it wasn't, like, bad, but it wasn't, like, no. the Joker that everyone knows, yeah. you know? No. The whole, like, mass-murdering psychopath kind of guy. No, it was interesting because right. at midnight last night, they were talking about it. And he had a bunch of comments about like how everybody was like, no, this sucks. Yeah. And Chris Hardwick was like, ha, these are actually comments about the Heath Ledger Joker. And, oh, Because every, wow. everybody, yeah. everybody said the same thing about the Heath Ledger Joker. They're like, this right. is terrible. They're not doing it right. But I'm sure, I mean, Jared Leto, I'm sure he's going to play the part Regardless really well. of how he looks, Absolutely. the character will be well. It's yeah. going to be great. I'm really excited for that well, movie. The thing about Heath Ledger, I said the same thing when people were all pissed off about Batfleck. Because they were like, yeah. no, Batfleck, this is going to be terrible. And like, regard, maybe it will, maybe not. Like, like I said last time, I'm not, I didn't love the trailer so much. It seemed a little cheesy to me. Do you bleed? Exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. Okay. But like, everyone thought. No, but thought your parents he, did. Oh! oh! Zing. Ha, ah, Batman's parents are dead. <laughs> For those, I spoiler make, alert! Spoiler I you were alert! Making a period joke for a couple oh, seconds, but oh, we talked about that last time too. There was a bit like there was Wonder Woman. She was yeah. like, "Do you believe?" <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Uh, every month. Oh, uh, but but no, like no one thought Heath Ledger was gonna do great. Same with like Quicksil- awesome. Quicksilver and Days of Future Past. Dude, that was, yeah, that was the best scene. That was one Absolutely. of my favorite parts. Actually, they just revealed what Nightcrawler will look like. I saw that. That and was pretty sweet. He looks. I get, like, the actor himself looks really weird, so the Nightcrawler looks a little weird, but it's set in the 80s. It, Everybody said the same thing about Quicksilver. I'm sure 
I mean, like, for what Nightcrawler is, Nightcrawler it is. He's a creep. Nightcrawler is a weird looking thing. You know? He has the three fingers. Purple, so he has yeah. a tail. Well, he's purple, right? He's blue. Blue. I'm, you're color, you're I'm colorblind. Dark colorblind, colorblind you know. Yeah. It helps. <laughs> but you're yeah. close. He's, he's got three got fingers. The gist of him. He's not Alan Cummings. Yeah. It's okay. Speaking of Cummings, I decided I had to <laughs> say, whoa! <laughs> I, I had to get this out because it was really, really weird. And whoa. Like, I know I must have heard it wrong. No, I'm not coming Doesn't matter. Not yet. Hey, yo. So I finished. I finished one of my exams today at OCC, and as uh, Gary talked about last time, community college is an interesting place. Oh yeah. So I'm I don't walking. Like where this is going? Yeah, you're, I don't know if you will. I'm, well, it's kind of funny. I'm walking by one of the classrooms, and I heard, and I'm assuming it was a professor say, "You can't fake it because eventually you're going to be coming, and like you're going to be absurd in your power." And I was like, "What?" And from I was pretty sure I was in the math. Wing it's out of, of school. context, right? I'm hoping so, and I know this is probably just something that says a little bit about me because, you know, I, yeah. would, would you say fake it, negate it? You know, you can't fake it till you make it. Blah 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 blah. But then when it was followed by eventually you'll be coming, that was the part that I was like, wait, this sounds kind of weird. So you know, mm. that was my segue. You said Cummings, the teacher. Professor might have said coming, so... Did you figure out what it was about? No! Oh. What was I going to do? Rock into the... Excuse me, are you talking about faking an <laughs> orgasm and splooging later, or is this a math-related thing? I felt like that wasn't really appropriate. Give me a couple of seconds. I'll be right back. <laughs> Let me give you a live demonstration. Jin <laughs> <laughs> oh. sneer. So, if you remember on, like, the first podcast or the second podcast, I don't remember which one, but we uh, we discussed... No, I read you that Veet review, right? Yeah, that was on the second podcast. No, okay. the third that podcast. That was a great one. That, that was, was a good fun. review, right? Yeah. My dad got home from Kentucky, and he was telling all the guys... Did he was with... No. Oh. Oh, but no. Um, was he diddling kids, too? No. <laughs> that was not a kidly diddler? No. Didn't, you know, give you a finger once in a while? No! no. Just, just making sure oh, if you God. need to vent, this is the place. No. So On dad, the internet. My yeah. Dad, my dad read them the Veet hair removal review. Very funny. Right. They were all cracking up. Gay and snowman. then they showed him a bunch of reviews about those Haribo, the gummy bears, the sugar-free gummy bears. You, you, found, sugar- the, you found the gummy bear review. I had, I don't know where it is. I don't I don't know where they are. But there's these they're like German gummy bears. Okay. And they come in like five pound bags. If you eat them, you get massive, massive shits. Where like <laughs> Why? one of the reviews that guy was like on fiber filled gummy bears? No, there's something wrong with them where people get massive diarrhea. Ugh. And like it's really bad. <laughs> oh. And so my dad was reading them to me yesterday and he was just cracking up. And he couldn't handle it because it was so funny. Like this guy in an airplane. Oh no! Pull, pulled a cabin free. No, what happened was like it was a smaller airplane, okay. and the only bathroom was underneath a seat. Okay. And so the guy sat and like he was like, he was. Just, I don't know if we can find that right review, but the whole idea of the review was he ate all these gummy bears because they were all like what they do is like they take the clients out partying. Okay. They get out. They get. They get on the flight and they fly, and to the next place and they, like whatever. And so okay, business trips, yes. business trips, absolutely. We don't know business trips, but business trips. So they're on a small plane, and there's like the CFO of the other company sitting on where the toilet is, and so okay. the guy's like, like, oh no, waddling over there, like, and the guy realized, oh shit, he needs the he needs the seat, and so everybody else thought he was trying to like talk to that like. Um, customer and try to like and so everybody else started trying to talk to that customer oh. so he sits down and there's like a screen he pulls up and oh. it only goes to about shoulder level oh. and there's all this ungodly noise oh. just coming out of his asshole and he's watching everyone and, like, and he's just like I'm so sorry <laughs> he's just blowing gummy bears out of his ass <laughs> you think you think there's a problem where like well, like it's just it's like whole gummy bears. You think like he turned around and was like, "Oh my god, that's what was just inside." Like, well, I guess not whole gummy bears unless he's like you know swallowing them. Which you know, if you're into, I'm not gonna judge. But like, is it poo or is it like gummy gummy poo? It's, it's gummy poo. Yeah, yeah it could be. It's it's, it's gummy Haribo sugar free gummy bears in a five pound bag. I've never heard of these before. Well, I've heard of Haribo. I mean, like Haribo. those yeah, yeah Haribo. Oh, those yeah, those are sorry. those are the gummy bears. Yeah, they I, give you shits. I, the yeah. sugar-free one? Um, I had a bag uh, a year ago. Shit-free, so that's good. That's good. But they weren't the sugar-free ones. Yeah. Oh, I think it's the sugar-free. I found all of them, the reviews right here, and like the headings are the best part because it says, just don't unless it's a gift for someone you hate <laughs> or like ideal gifts for your congressional representatives. You know, I just had, <laughs> I just had an idea. 
So you guys know about the gummy dicks, right? The yes. uh, dicksbymail.com yes. where you can pay here's, money. Here's a bag of dicks. Exactly. Eat you a pay bag money of and dicks. it says eat a oh. bag of dicks. What if the gummy dicks were like made from the sugar hard? Oh. Like, it would be a twofer. You'd be like, man, so-and-so told me to eat a bag of dicks. I'm going to eat these bag of dicks, not because he told me to, because I really like gummy dicks. Well, gummy bears, gummy things. I like how or maybe threw, like the gummy dicks. threw a little Aziz Ansari on there for a couple uh, seconds. Unintentionally, <laughs> but yes. <laughs> And then, um, and then it's a twofer because, like, man, now I got eat dicks. And then it's like, boom. And then he's like shitting dicks. That would be pretty Whoa. funny. <laughs> That's <laughs> you've heard of shitting bricks, but now you're shitting dicks. Grabcast. Grabcast. Tra- trademark that. <laughs> TM can't use it. That's us. You've heard of shitting bricks. Now you're gonna shit dicks. <laughs> I thought of an idea at work yesterday. Completely. Oh. I wouldn't say off topic now. Um, you know, ring pops, right? Yes. Um, but plugs. You know. <laughs> What? <laughs> I think you did that wrong, Brian. So, oh. ring pops and cock rings. Boom. Together. They're called <laughs> cocksuckers. <laughs> so. Great name. So, what they are is just uh, like a ring pop for your dick. So... <laughs> I'm assuming for your significant other, not yeah, like, of man, course, not like I you're... really want a ring pop. Zip. <laughs> and you're done. Yeah. Now, like... Is, is it that, a is ring? That, how that like, works? I wouldn't know from I, personal experience. This is merely an assumption. That, be for like, the flexible people. Like me, like, <laughs> <laughs> for the gifted like Brian, it'd be no problem. But, <laughs> but, but I'm so like, is it something you just you place on yourself and then there's this, the diamond no, I think it's ring? Like, it's or like is a, it like the, the, the ring, ring I itself? Put, I didn't. We didn't put a lot of thought into it. Well, if but, you're going into a business, I, you, I, I, you've I, got the name down. Now you got to have the product. I can't wait to bring this up at the family like reunion. Like, guys, guess what I just found? Like, this great company called, you know, Cocksuckers. Um, what are you doing with your life? Well, you know, I'm no longer a chef. Um, I make cocksuckers. Um, <laughs> it's sweeping the nation. And, you Comes know. a variety of flavors. <laughs> Flesh flavored for those of you who really don't want to have anything on there, but still, you don't know. ask us how we got that flavoring, but we got no. it. We <laughs> play a lot of Borderlands. <laughs> oh, I do like Borderlands though. Borderlands, oh, awesome game. No, oh, man. Uh, Hashtag good. cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag cocksuckers. Let's get that trending. Jin Snoo, put on your cocksucker dumb Snoo. <laughs> Come into me, Grutu. <laughs> Thank you, Adam Kovic, for allowing us to use that voice. <laughs> I was going to say, for those of you who don't know, uh, Brian and I have stated how big fans of Rooster Teeth we are, which Al is as well. Hey, um, There is now Funhouse. They've been around for a while. They were inside gaming. They are working at Machina, but they left to join Rooster Teeth, which is the greatest thing ever because they're so funny, and now they have got like way more fans. So that's awesome. But they do that whole, like, Jin Snoo, come and tickle my tin Jin Snoo thing. They and it's it. super funny. And we watched the, the, uh, the open house they have this morning, and they... Did that voice. Yeah. <clears throat> now we can't get it out of our heads. Jin nope. Snoo. Oh, it's stuck. And Adam's getting really tired of it, too. It's really funny. He's yeah. Like, well, because it's like it's become that thing, you know? And yeah. once you have a thing, like Ray's thing was just Blaze for a while, or 420, and then that kind of got yeah. probably annoying and YOLO. Dude, YOLO, am I right? No. Yeah. You only eat oranges? You yeah, know, they're pretty good. That doesn't work. Every villain. I just realized that's weapons. wrong. You only... Eat oranges? Yeah, that's totally wrong. Yeah, that's totally wrong. I said that for a long that's time. Yo yo. Yo yo. Yo yo. Yo yo. Yo yo. Oh, it's only you only love oranges. Oh, oh. that doesn't sound. Is cool. that when you cut the inside out of an orange? I was gonna say you only love grapefruits. And the no. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good audio. That's good. Some good audio. There. No. <laughs> that's who, another video. Who did we show that? Oh, that was Chris, our friend. Yeah. We showed yeah. our friend Chris the grapefruit. Thing. If you don't know what the grapefruit uh, thing is, there's a woman on YouTube named Angel. Angel, yep. Angel's and she does this thing where she puts a, she tells you how to like give a blowjob with a grapefruit, and she makes horrendous noises that are unspeakable. And we showed our friend Chris, and he just sat there, and he was just like, <laughs> not not only did you show Chris with, but you showed Chris with everyone in the room. And not even with the adjoining room, with all of our families in yeah, there. Our and your girlfriend's family. And yeah. the girlfriend's family. And everyone could possibly... They, everyone all, could they, all they heard was... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and then a bunch of laughing. So like they didn't know what was going on. Just a whole bunch of guys saying, wait for it. And then wait you, for it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> and they knew Gary was in the room too. So they're like, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, with Gary in the room, someone was probably... Something's like, happening. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. <laughs> Hashtag cocksuckers. 
Oh. So, Al, you were going to tell me something about Spider-Man today. Oh, yeah, so... Spider-Man! I, flip, 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 Drake and Josh, Spider-Man, just flip, saying, flip, go flip, for it, Marvel. Flip. So, uh, I, I heard, I saw on IGN, I think it was IGN, that they were thinking about naming the new Spider-Man movie something along the lines of Spider-Man, the new Avenger. That would be awesome. That kind of so, sounds like Captain America, the first Avenger. Yeah. And I don't so, know if you know this, but Captain America, he's an Avenger, and he's in the Avengers. Well, I know. Exactly. But, but when you think about it, the comic book series, The New Avengers, has Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man of course. And but Wolverine. Like, and Wolverine. Ooh, and and Wolverine? Iron Fist. It does. And not, not like... Ooh, not like... Ooh. Not like... Josh just came. Um, <laughs> not like not like Wolverine's gonna be in like the MCU at any time. Oh, and Ronan isn't Ronan in it? Yeah, that's Hawkeye though. Like, yeah, but it's Hawkeye. Ronin? That's on like Keanu Reeves. I'll watch that sometime. And if you notice, you that? In the, it's pretty good. Okay. And if you notice in the movies too, Hawkeye's changing costumes a lot. You could turn into Ronan. He could turn into Ronan. And they're making Iron Fist TV Ronin, show. Ronin. And Dude, like, Iron Fist is cool. He's so my favorite superhero. Oh, because. Because what happened in my head is you said Wolverine, and then there was that picture of Hugh Jackman saying, like, putting on the claws for the last time, which he also said that about the Wolverine, so who he said knows? said that a lot yeah, of times. You know. um, and then he put him on for uh, X-Men Days of Future Past. But what if, like... Hugh Jackman wants to be in, like, with the Avengers. He's, oh, he's yeah. Stayed, I know! He and, like, it. he would be Wolverine for the Avengers. You know what I mean? Like, he would come back for the Avengers. Like, I like Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Like, he's done a good job. He's yeah. done, like, ten movies, right? About so, so there's X Men One, X Two, X Men Last Stand, and there was X Men Origins, then and then there was Wolverine, and then there was Days of, Days of Future Past. Past. He was he had, in First Class. I'm he had that like cameo class. in First Class. Um, That's like seven, and then probably Apocalypse. Coming yeah, out. I, he's got to probably be an Apocalypse. So at X-Men least a movie of clip. Course. So he's, been, so he's done a lot. That's eight movies. No, like, I get, that's more than there are Fast and Furious movies. Not, well, no, because number eight got announced for 2017. Right, but it's not out yet. But, no, I think... Neither is... I like Hugh Jackman so. as well. I don't got friends. <laughs> <laughs> I got family. Bob. Swing. Movies. Um, no, but I like... A, Helicopter. We need more... <laughs> I want more of a comic book Wolverine where he's, like, short, kind of stubby. Yeah. Someone that Colossus could easily throw. He did throw Wolverine. Yeah, in <sighs> last stand, the fastball. But special. last stand, blown. <laughs> yeah, it was. Although it wasn't great. I saw a thing today. I mean, we got the juggernaut, bitch. So I mean, like that was pretty, that was great. pretty shitty. I'm the juggernaut, bitch. Oh, oh Benny Jones, no, <laughs> no. But I saw today some set photos from Deadpool, which is coming along nicely. I hear coming. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Hashtag cock rings. Um, <laughs> cock and suckers. Suckers. Excuse me. Uh, close enough. Um, <laughs> and it showed like the guy. Colossus like walking around in a mocap suit fighting really? Deadpool because yeah, oh. Colossus will be in Deadpool. Really? Yeah. What? Like Colossus, like the Colossus from X Men, Colossus. Yeah. Or like, okay, cool. Well, no, I mean like like that guy because he was in. I think the guy from like, Days he's of cast Fe- as a guy. Yeah, you know? I think the guy from Days of Future Past. Okay, that'd be cool. Yeah, I saw I saw a picture that like Ryan Reynolds shoot a picture of him like it was his face and he was covered in blood. He goes, just finished shooting some Deadpool stuff. I'm fine, but the other guy isn't. And it was really weird because, like, it didn't look like Ryan Reynolds' face, but they said it was Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. No, his the, the outfit for Dead, it, it's awesome. It looks so good. It looks they're doing, so they're doing a lot of good, good. things. And the announcement trailer for it being rated, uh, I was going to say M, rated R. Yeah. Um, M for R. Yeah. <laughs> it's rated M for being R. Maturely rated R. But that, that trailer. Bring your folks. That video they had for it being rated R was the best. Did you what? I, t- is that the, I think you talked about. He was it on talking the to, is that the uh, one where he, like he's he talking him? to Mario Lopez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Deadpool Lopez. walks up, beats, just beats him with like a, a TV monitor or something, and he's like, "It's rated R, stupid." <laughs> Noise. Noise. I think. I mean, I would have watched it if it was rated PG thirteen. I think yeah. it's cool that it's rated R because that's true, more true yeah, to the character. They can yeah. say fuck a lot, and they can get it really bloody. Yeah. Or, yeah. Oh, and he can get stabbed, and like his guts can come out. You know, as we've talked about, I'm not a huge gore guy, but you know. It's Deadpool's way. <laughs> I mean, it, I, it'll be like comical, I guess, so that's funny. Not like that butt getting cut off like we oh, saw last week. Butt getting cut off. You obviously did we, not listen to the fourth podcast. No, I did not. I'm we, sorry. We did Reddit 50 50 with oh, Gary. That makes sense. We only did one, yeah, we, and it was some We did chick. two. There was E.T. with tits, and then there was some woman with her butt cut off. 
Okay. And it showed just her laying on like the hospital bed with no butt, with no butt, and it was just like muscle and shit. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. okay. so gross. That was not like a motorboating sound, by the way. That was a gross sound. <laughs> oh, motorboat, motorboat, no butt. I would not want to motorboat no butt. No, but going back to hashtag butt. motorboat no butt. Hashtag <laughs> cocksuckers 2014, 2016, 15. Ah, <laughs> ah, what day is it? <laughs> who, who am I? <laughs> No, but like Deadpool in the comics, at one point he gets like I don't know why, but he gets stabbed through the stomach by like a, a mammoth tusk. As you do, yeah, and uh, of course. And there's just like he's just sitting there, and he's just got his intestines, and he's just like pulling them, like oh, this isn't good. But no, if it's bloody, it's good. Yeah, no, I mean that'll stick true to the character and whatnot. Well, you you have the Deadpool game, right? Yeah, he borrowed it from us. Right, it, the, the one part where he falls in the hole. I was just gonna say that. Split yeah. in the half, and the half of him's dangling from his intestines. And, yeah. Oh yeah. Doesn't he like fall? I I haven't played it yet because I've been studying for exams, but my brother's been playing right. it. Yeah. No, I mean, I knew about that part because it was in the trailer. But doesn't oh. his body fall on some dude? Yeah. And then he uses the dude to crawl back <laughs> to his legs. I think so. I haven't played it in a while. I remember though. that part. Oh, it, that sounds I like dying a lot. That's. <laughs> Yeah, cool. That's a lot. No, yeah, yeah, no. Deadpool video game, 10 out of 10. Would play again. 10 out of 10. I haven't beat it yet, but I don't know. I did. How you doing on uh, Shadow of Mordor? I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm trying to beat War Chiefs. It's tough. Dude, yeah. It, like That game, it's really, really cool because it's a lot of strategy. You know what I mean? Like I don't like that. I just like walking up and stabbing people in the head. Right, which I do too. But like hashtag Monster Hunter. <laughs> hashtag cocksuckers. <laughs> twenty fourteen. Cock. Twenty fifteen. But no, like nothing is cooler than going up and like a guy summons all of his guys, or like he's like, oh, I'll get my bodyguards, but he has no bodyguards because you've previously killed them. Yeah, all. I did that. Right. And then have you got the brand technique? No, yet? not yet. Okay, I'm working on that. That's the greatest thing. I was okay. So brand thing is when you get information from guys. Okay. They'll like. Could work for you essentially. Oh. So they'll go about their business, but then when you press like down on the D pad, they like are mind controlled and they fight for you. Hmm. So like there was one time I went to a war chief and he's like, Oh, I'm gonna kill you, it's just one guy, blah blah blah. But I had gone in, got like fifteen normal orcs in the camp and all of his bodyguards. So he goes to kill me and I like snap my fingers and they all turn on him. He's like what? Because, like, his fear was, like, being betrayed or something. Oh. So then he became, like, super weak so I could even mind control him. Mm. Oh, God, it was awesome. Because then, like, everyone turns on him, they start fighting him, then I just go up and cut off his head. Oh, good stuff. That's awesome. It's super it's pretty awesome. Cool. It's a really super, good game. It's awesome game. Yeah. Um, news. News. Hashtag new, uh, motorboat no butts. Yeah. <laughs> um, new Dragon Ball anime is being made. I heard about After, this. like, 18 years. I know. It's, I'm, I'm pumped. Yeah. Yeah. I don't... <laughs> Mock. I, uh, yeah. Ying. Yeah. Bird. Yeah. Don't. Mock. Yeah. Sing. Yeah. Wait. No, but I think it'll be cool. I don't actually have never seen, really, like, a full episode of Dragon Ball before. I want to. Like, Dragon Ball or Dragon... Like, have you seen Dragon Ball Z? No. No? And no, any of it. I've seen, like, bits and pieces everywhere. Oh, that's yeah. it. Super awesome. I watched, like, the really gory episode, like, when they started making it more, like, bloody and stuff, and then... Which one was that? I don't know. Well, they just pretty much just took the raw Japanese footage from the regular anime. Yeah. Yeah, that was <laughs> it. And they were just like, here you go, America. And yeah, then... that. Because, like, it was the part where Piccolo, like, blew the hole through... Raditz. The, oh, Raditz, Raditz and, and Goku, and, and like, was like, like, Whoa. Whoa. That's, yeah. like the, that's the only thing Fatality. I remember from Dragon Ball. <laughs> but... Well, like they've, they, so they made two movies in the past two years. They made one, uh, Battle of Gods, mm-hmm. or yeah, Battle of Gods. That was pretty cool. And then this newer one, they've brought back Frieza, which Frieza was like the bad guy at the time. Yeah, I think of course. I, I think Cell That's, might be and he was a gold. little better. Yeah, but he's got he's gold. Frieza goes Super Saiyan, kind of. <laughs> but then, so then they've got. To, it looks kind of cool. So there's this whole thing where like there's a new level of Super Saiyan, right? And it's not like Super Saiyan Four. It's Super Saiyan God. Yes and no. Yeah, there's more. So like, it gets more confusing. It, yeah. So, so apparently, so like at the end of the movie, go at the end of the first movie. Spoiler alert. Uh, Goku. Go he, watch it. Snape yeah, go watch Dumbledore. It. I don't know what happens. <laughs> Gay Snape kills straight Dumbledore. Nope, other way around. What? <laughs> In an alternate universe. Uh, Hashtag but, motorboat no butts. So, so Goku gets the powers of Super Saiyan God thanks to like the other Saiyans, mm-hmm. and then he like he while well, he's fighting he loses the power he runs out. But then he turns into a Super Saiyan, and apparently, like, he's absorbed the power of Super Saiyan God, so he's, like, even stronger. But in this new movie, he's got, like, he goes into a new level of Super Saiyan, which is, I know this sounds really stupid, Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. 
Yeah, where he's got like it, it look. It's, he's got his, the style of his Super Saiyan hair, but it's blue, right. and he's like way more powerful because he's like a, like to obtain the power of a, a Super Saiyan God. I don't understand why they just don't call it like Super Saiyan God Two. Because I feel like that would be easier than Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan yeah. or the abbreviation of SSGSS. So, but it looks really cool. And Vegeta is a Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. You so said that he, mean, he said he punches the gold off of Yeah, Frieza, right? I saw this little clip because it's already come out in Japan. They're voicing it for uh, English. They're dubbing it. Dub, 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 um, but no, like, it's awesome because people get to see, like, badass Vegeta because for some reason people think Vegeta's better than Goku. Some people. I'm not one of those people. I'm more of a Yamcha guy myself. <laughs> nah, that's uh, a lie. I'm more of a Piccolo guy, truthfully. But. Yeah, Piccolo's pretty badass. But, like, so, like, there's the scene where, like, uh, Vegeta, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegeta is fighting Frieza and, like, is shooting all these blasts at him and you're like, oh, there's all these explosions and then, like, Vegeta just walks out untouched and then he's like punches Frieza, and then he gets kicks him, and then he punches him one more time, and he punches the gold right off of him. <laughs> Holy and he shit! He turns back into like final form, or what you thought was his final form, Frieza, the one with the like the white and the purple head, not the one with the long dick-like head, or the one with yeah. horns where he stabbed Krillin. But man, I need to watch that. R.I.P. Krillin. Everybody's saying that the new series hopefully should just erase everything that happened in GT. Yeah, <laughs> no, because it picks up right. A- it picks up after um, they fought Boo. Which would essentially be after the two movies. I don't know if the two me- uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if the two movies then will be like um, a part of the universe or not. But like, I think it'd be cool because I I I only saw little bits and pieces of GT. I don't remember it too well. I mean, I thought Super Saiyan Four was kind of cool, but then there was a lot of stuff that was kind of stupid. And just that's what I hear. Yeah. Like, I and the whole, like, Goku getting turned back into a kid, so he's a kid for the whole thing, and then, like, he's not he's an adult when he's Super Saiyan 4, and he doesn't have all of his powers because he's in the kid body, and his kid body can't, like... Hold I have no idea about what yeah, you're it's, about. Yeah, GT wasn't great. Like, it was okay. I mean, it was Dragon Ball, so, I mean, there's more stuff of Dragon Ball to watch, but it also wasn't made by Akira Toriyama, who is, like, the guy who made Dragon Ball. Yeah, he's, so essentially yeah. he's, he's part English. of the new series. Yeah, it's like Dragon Ball Super, I think, is the translation. Which, you know, could be cool. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Exactly. Two. We're going to be watching <laughs> Dragon Ball Z Super, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. So it's going to be crazy. That hurts. Version 2. All I know is everybody who's ever seen a little bit of Dragon Ball has always tried to, like, we've always wished we could, like, Kamehameha. Dude. Or Special Beam Cannon. I've can- always, yes. I've been, I've put my two fingers on my forehead way too many times to count in my life. I- just to be like, I fucking hate you! <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> and then blow, like, a hole, like? blow a hole through their body. With my fingers, I think I think you have some past emotions coming out. Like I said, you can vent. Feel uh, free. I understand. If I could special beam cannon, I would. Oof. I have I have <laughs> tried to Kamehameha. I I yeah. I'm doing it right now. I I've Kamehameha a good time. I had an app on my phone. No, know what was, you haven't done? What? Destructo disc. Dude, <laughs> well, I've, I've actually I've attempted Ooh, destructo discs before. I've got a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but no, like I had an app that was a Kamehameha app, and um, it was pretty sweet. Because, like, you'd press the button and it would make the charge-up noise. And then if you, like, if you would hold it in your hands like you would a Kamehameha. And then if you pushed it forward, it would go... And it would oh, shoot that's... the little ball. Because, like, there'd be a little ball on the screen that would shoot it. Oh, it was so cool. There were times when I would just, like, hold it and just shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, it was so cool. That's... Nerd. Super cool. That's really nerdy. Oh, yeah. Dude, you just yelled about how you special beam cannon people. <laughs> and I was talking about a super in, awesome app. I mean, in my mind, a special beam cannon. Well, I, we could and check then the audio. Someone, you, and you were pretty adamant about your special beam cannon. And then someone looks over, I'm just standing there with my fingers against my forehead. I'm special like, beam cannon! <laughs> no, but I don't know. Piccolo would be cool. I just want, like, the, the turban that he wears. Like with the super, like the, well, yeah, the with shoulder parts, are super, yeah. His weight, his just weighted armor, around. so like, his weighted training clothes. So when he takes it off, he's like stronger. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and whatever. Japanese people. Oh, so you know what I real? I guess this won't mean anything to you since you never really watched Dragon Ball Z. I but still care. Torg, Mister Torg from Borderlands Two. Okay. I don't know if he's in Borderlands One. Didn't play it, but um, he is Mister Satan. From oh Dragon really? Ball Z. Oh yeah, totally. yeah. Didn't know that. Oh, that's cool. It was really funny when he's just Wait, like. Torg's the one that you thought was Hulk Hogan, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It sounded like oh, Hulk Hogan oh, a little oh, bit. Wrong person, that's bad. It's no, not... he does. He does. I mean, like, oh, well, that's well, that's that Macho Man, Macho Man Savage. Randy Savage. I was like, come oh. here, brother. That's more Hulk Hogan. But <laughs> no, sure. uh, I haven't watched. They came out with they came out with a Dragon Ball Connect game. 
And oh, I, I yeah. heard it was complete shite. Well, so I watched. Do you guys know Team Four Star at all? Well, of course. Okay, Team Four Star. Do we know awesome. I don't know why I asked, but they played uh, Dragon Ball Connect, and pretty much it was just like moving your fist at the screen. But Dragon Ball Connect just is the same game as um, Dragon Ball Ultimate Tenkaichi. I think it's Ultimate Tenkaichi. Um, just redone. But the shitty thing about Ultimate Tenkaichi was it was basically just a very long game of rock, paper, scissors. You would, like, mash X to punch someone, and then it would they would go flying backwards, and then it would be like, oh, are you going to shoot them with a blast or jump up and punch them? And if you pressed X and the other person pressed B, they would counter you or something like that. And it was That's really stupid. Like, I was paper, really pumped. scissors! Yeah. But, like, it was the first game where you could create your own character. And I was like, oh, that's going to be awesome, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, you can't do anything with this character. This blows a dick. But then Xenoverse came out. Yeah. Xenoverse, Xenoverse was, like, everything I had wanted it to be. Still have not beat Frieza yet. Dude, <laughs> yeah, dude some of those bosses are crazy hard. I met Beerus and what the, whatever. Beerus Weiss. and Weiss? That's one of I the hardest fights. I can't beat it. There are some fights in that game where I don't know how you could beat unless you weren't a Super Saiyan. Yeah. Because Super Saiyan, you can spam your ultimate move as long as you have the key. So like, there would be some fights where I'd be like, I would, I went through training with Cell, so I had the perfect Kamehameha. So it was super strong. So I would just blast someone a couple times and then charge up my key and then blast them again. And I would just stay in Super Saiyan. I am not a Saiyan at all. Right. I am a... I'm a Namekian. Namekian? Namekian. I'm a Saiyan. Dude, Saiyan's where it's at. I'm just saying. Hey! Z. Hashtag cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> but I also had, I got the super ability, uh, Super Saiyan, no, Super Vegeta 2. So I was a Super Saiyan 2 as strong as Vegeta, so that was pretty dope. Wow. Oh. And you, like, it changed your transformation animation where you, like, look all menacing and grab your fist and transform like Vegeta. That was wow. I am the prince of all Saiyans. Prince of all Saiyans. I'm training with Napa. Holy <laughs> Napa. Hey Vegeta. Vegeta. I'm training with Her- Vegeta. Hercule. That's, I, that's going interesting. Well, like he's like here, train with this power now because like you have to like do certain powers. Right. Yeah. And like it's called present for you, and you pull out like a present, and you just place it in the air, and then you might get health. Oh, well, that's that's it. It's really cool. shitty, and I'm like, oh, Hercule. Well, Why? I'm training I training with Krillin. Yeah, I trained with Krillin first. Yeah, I want the destructive disc. That's all it's, I want. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Just um, but I and mean, I think his ultimate move is like ultimate destructive disc or something, where you just throw a bun or destructive disc barrage. But that's pretty cool. But to be honest, one of the hardest fights, other than Super Saiyan Bargain Sale, which you have to fight literally every Super Saiyan in the game. Oh yeah. That's crazy. But that's I beat it. Fun. Woohoo! Um, but was, was fighting uh, possessed Hercule in the Cell Saga. Oh. It was really hard. Because, like, I beat the shit out of Cell, no problem. And then it was just, like, Hercule, like, when they possessed him and he was evil, Hercule was crazy strong. He kept kicking my ass. I was, like, I was so angry because it was Hercule. It's like, <laughs> like, nor- like, literally, if you fight normal Hercule, you go up and punch him once and he dies. Like, yeah. That's it. He's got a fucking jetpack. Yeah, and he just, that's <laughs> how he flies around. But, like, I was so angry at the fact that Hercule was beating me. Oh, God, it was, oh, it was, it was embarrassing. I was embarrassed. Oh. Yeah, Hercule's... It's a fun guy. I like playing as Yamcha. Awkward <laughs> 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 appropriate. No one likes playing as Yamcha. No, no, the only reason why is because of Wolf Angfist. That's the only reason why. Because that was like my favorite thing back when I was watching Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z when I was younger. Was yeah. the Wolf Angfist attack? And yeah, I was it's like, cool. That was the coolest thing. And I was like, punch, I punch, do, punch. yeah. When I do karate, I'm gonna learn how to do that. Yeah, and no. Never did. Well, and his version of the Spirit Ball was cool when he like moved it around and hit people a bunch. Not nearly as cool as like the Spirit Bomb. Yeah, putting your hands in the me, me. Give me your power. <laughs> I don't know why it's, uh, he says black now. He sounds like uh, Popo. <laughs> Mr. Popo. <laughs> Dude, oh. Mr. Popo launched a spirit bomb. <laughs> Mr. Popo. If Mr. Popo was in that game. Dude, if you could uh, train under Mr. Popo or fight as Mr. Popo, so awesome. that would be great. All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. I think you. I think there are Popo eyes, so like you could essentially make a Majin Buu character Ooh. that looks like Mr. Popo. That'd be like the get around. But people have made some pretty funny characters in Dragon Ball, like God. Black Krillin. Yeah, or uh, I saw. I think I saw Patrick Star. That was pretty <laughs> awesome. funny. I like Mr. Clean. Oh, is it, is it, is Mr. It, Clean? Mr. That, that was good. Oh yeah. No, I saw Scorpion one time. Someone made Scorpion from Mortal, from Mortal Kombat. Kombat. That's pretty awesome. cool. Get over here. No, we like to play. Um, like, like against each other and I'll play he'll play as Yamcha and I'll play as Goldo <laughs> seriously I'll play as Yamcha <laughs> and then I'll play as Goldo because <laughs> we just want to have like a shitty fight <laughs> you should play as a uh, Raspberry or Apple something Apple oh yeah. yeah 
Yeah, I like how in the game there was like, oh, we don't have like a name for the Frieza race yet. Yeah, it's literally well. I think Frieza. there's like, there's a there's a speculated race in Japan that has a name, but like in America, it's literally just Frieza race. Yeah. I don't know. That was really because funny. whatever that guy's name is, I don't remember like the creator. Oh, it's Akira Toriyama. Yeah, he hasn't given a name to that yet. Right. So there's like Frieza race. race. That works. Well, I remember uh, one guy we know on the Facebooks. Uh, he posted. I think he was trying to be like all deep and intense, but he's like deep Dude. and intense. Yeah. <laughs> it's like what? Hashtag cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> but he was all like, "What's colder than cold, man?" And like his stupid stoner friends were like, "Dude, that's so deep." Blah blah blah. Freezer. And then I posted a picture of Cooler, Freezer's brother. I'm like, Cooler. <laughs> and I'm like, I got a couple likes. I was pretty proud of myself. Kind of like an f you to your your deep high thoughts. What's cold? Oh, man. Cool. Although red is cold. Yeah. yeah. Red all right, is cute. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> you fuck. You fuck the captain's daughter. <laughs> oh my god. That was funny. You're talking. Okay, so that was a little weird. I said I- Ice Cube, and he made reference to um. Oh yeah. Twenty two okay. Jump, Jump Street. Jump Street. Which that scene is probably the funny. I have not laughed oh, that hard yeah, ever. Or oh, Channing Tatum's just running around the office. He's just... fucking the captain's daughter. Oh. <laughs> And like it, he points the gun at him, and he's like, it's it's not that it's not that funny. Not no, just oh, that was a funny. You just movie. don't forget, I'm a fucking bear. Did that was, <laughs> we were talking about that too. That was okay. funny. Too. Oh. I'm a human. I'm a fucking bear. Oh, oh, but I don't know if oh. you guys. I read this that like so at the end of Twenty Two Jump Street, there's yeah. like all these like what we thought were spoof mm-hmm. Jump Streets, like Twenty Three Jump Street. They're like old people and blah yeah. blah blah. And like there's Twenty One Twenty One Jump Street. Well, apparently the creator said those are all canon. Like yeah, like this could the, all ne- the, the next happen. movie will be like one of those or something. Yeah, like it, like those are canon. They weren't just making it up. It would be really funny if the next one they used the one with uh, Seth Rogen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, what contract dispute? What are you talking about? Like, I'm, I'm glad you're back. I never left. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, you never left. You got glasses. Oh. Freaking Ice Cube. No, but <laughs> did, wasn't there some speculation and seeing if it was going to be a Men in Black tie-in to it? Yeah, oh, they talked about like, the 20, uh, 22 jump, or 20, uh, jump Street tie-in with the MIB. I would watch the crap out of that. That would be so sweet. Weird. Will like, Smith and like Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill. And, and Tommy Lee yeah, Jones. That dead, would be awesome. Deadshot. That would be so shot, yes. cool. <laughs> they, they have to infiltrate the Men in Black. Actually, if you think about it, that movie would be... It would be um, Deadshot, yep. Two Face, and then Gambit. Oh yeah, You're and right. and Green Lantern because Jonah Hill voiced Green Lantern in the Lego Movie, <laughs> and then Channing Tatum voiced Superman in the Lego Movie, and yeah. Tommy Lee Jones was that guy in Captain America. Yeah, he, he was. was. Mm-hmm. And then and then Channing T- or, uh, Jonah Hill was that guy who Megamind, aka Will Ferrell in that animated movie Megamind, turned into a superhero slash villain. And but, Will Smith was Hitchcock. Yes, Hancock. Hancock. Hitchcock. Yeah. Way different person. Hashtag Cox. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... You know, never Where's my super suit? <laughs> Where is that my is super suit? That is Samuel Jackson. That is Lawrence... Where is... Lawrence Fishburne. <laughs> <laughs> that is Morgan Freeman. <laughs> you were right the first time with Samuel Jackson. Why are we throwing... Like, don't get me wrong. I love uh, Mr. Fishburne. Um, and, uh, Mr. Morgan, Fishburne. Morgan <laughs> Freeman. Like a Simpsons character. And a lot of, <laughs> and a lot of people like the acting career that his daughter took. Who's that? Uh, his daughter is a porn star. Oh! Yeah. Or made, apparently she's not a very attractive porn star. Is her name Fishbone? Uh, that, <laughs> put up bum. Oh! Swing! Hashtag cocksuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she looks like Lawrence Fishburne, and that's why she's not very attractive. I don't know. I think a woman... 420 just plays. Oh! Uh, hey Nice watch. Thank you. It's my Fitbit. But the button fell off, so I can't change it other than time. So that's a little bummer. I, but the Fitbit support center is an email conversation with me to send me a new one, potentially. Thanks, Fitbit! The only way I'm going to get one of those smartwatches is if I can press the button and it makes the Power Ranger... The beep, 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 beep. That would like, be sweet. I would pretty do cool. that in a heart. But like, every time I would answer, that would be like, what's up, Zordon? Something that is actually pretty cool about I this. I like, like, it, it uh, brings up a caller ID, so if someone calls me, it lets me know. It vibrates my hand, and it calls, so I may not feel my phone, but I definitely see it. Do you ever, like, so, call cool. yourself and just keep it next to your crotch? No, no, I have not done that. Oh! No, I have I have not done that. Are you going to do that after we leave? I have not done that. Are you going to, though? I have not done No comment. <laughs> I, I plead the fifth. Hashtag cocksuckers. I forgive you, Snoo. You put your fifth bit in my din Come with me, Greta. Vibrates me. I think we're going to change this podcast to the Cocksuckers Podcast. <laughs> um, 
I think that's probably taken. Uh, no, I'm just. It might be. Yeah. We just talk about porn. I also male don't want to have any part of that. To be honest. Hi, this is the po- Cocksuckers podcast. I'm so, your host, Josh. We have Cocksucker Brian. Hey. I don't know. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. Maybe that can be our side project if this fails. And this is Lee. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I was listening Hashtag to... Hashtag Bash Lee when he's not here. I was listening Sorry, to... Uh, this is, going back to porn. Uh, Wait, what? Uh, I, was talking, I, was, <laughs> I was listening to the Nerdist podcast, and they were talking to Joe Lynch. Did I tell you about that story? Wait, I told you, you about Jane it. Jane Lynch? Joe. Oh. He used to work on like G4 with Chris and stuff. Oh, okay. Anyways, he, but like okay. he, he was talking about how when he first got into the business like in, Wait, in, in Hollywood. Okay. Oh, okay. Was it not the porn business or the G4 well, business? Well, oh, when, okay. when he got to L.A., the first thing he did was work in porn. And he oh. edited porn. And, he, and what he said was like they were just giving him big stack of DVDs and say, here, digitize, edit, make the, make the, make the scene, you know? Yeah. And so... They would just be like a bunch of guys in a room, and they would all be just editing porn. And like, they never really talked because why, why would you? But if someone was ever like, "Oh God," <laughs> usually everybody would get up and look. Right. And so. Oh God, I'm so nervous. And they would have like archive footage of like, oh, let's say like a guy did it. I, I know what let's you're talking guy, about now. <laughs> let's say a guy like completed early, right? Okay. Um, they could go through like the footage of like that actor and like replace the footage with something else. Right. Just repeat so, frames. Yeah. Or like if. I don't know. So, anyways, but up, up, but up, the suckers. <laughs> um, he said that there was some guy who never talked or never Are you was some young guy, some guy that had like seen everything, and like at one point he was like, "Oh no," and everybody was like, "Oh, this can't be good," and so oh! all over her face, oh! all over her face. Oh! <laughs> And so they're Why? all. And everybody was like, "Oh my god!" And like Chris and Jonah might, and everybody. I might throw up. I might throw up. And so they were like, "What do we? Uh, what do we do?" And some guy was just like syphilis. Oh. And, um, oh. and so they like the their advisor or whatever came in and it was like, "What's the problem?" They showed him and he's like, "Here, let me see it." And he went in and he. What? And like the girl in the scene, her eyes were closed, so she didn't know what happened. What? This oh, is terrible. Can we stop? My dick hurts. Segway to anything else. Segway, cocksucker. Oh, no, not <laughs> oh, Bad segue. Bad form. You know, I just told my mom about the podcast. I know. I'm okay. like, who am I going to tell about this? <laughs> like, guys, I just volunteered to do a podcast. Like, this is going to be fun. I don't, don't want to do it, though. I we, don't we know. We can cut I... that part. <laughs> Maybe we will. We'll see. So maybe we'll cut that. Up, up, up. Woo! That'll just be. <laughs> yeah, you can just like cut where we said that last time. you it, it'll just be like, I think I know what I'll do. You'll start talking, and then I'll just put bleeps, <laughs> and then it'll just be me, me and my oh oh, and then more bleeps, and then you I should, think that'll be appropriate. You I just hear me moaning. You just in cut the background. out this part right now, then. Oh yeah, this part will probably. No, we're gonna keep out. this. Yeah, you probably will. You know. Yeah, we fun. don't really cut that much. We did it a little bit before, but I, now yeah, there's there's a decent amount of stuff that well, not a decent amount. I cut. Here and there, I do think. Don't cut yourself. I, thanks. Hashtag, Haircuts. Hashtag stop the bullying. I do think I'm going to bleep that thing out, though. I think that was a little much. Okay. That's I just wanted you to know. That now hurt. I know. As soon as you said, the more you know. Shooting star, Katy Perry. Yeah. yeah. At the Super Bowl. Firework. Hey Dave. Not the chorus, Dave. <laughs> that was a pretty funny movie. The yeah. uh, interview? interview. I don't think it was worth all of the hype. Yeah. Or the threats. Or the threats, yeah. I mean, like, well, I watched it, I'm like, really, this is what people are so up in arms about? It's more it's more against American media than yeah, it is against Yeah, it's more against Korea. media, period, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, Like, the way how American media, like, it's consumed around all the gossip and everything, and how, like, if you control media, you can almost control the country. Yeah. Yeah, no, they were talking about this on Jon Stewart last night, and he was talking about how there was the correspondence dinner, and, like, <laughs> and <laughs> the, the, all the riots going in in Baltimore right now. Right. And like I just learned everyone, is, like they were sitting on CNN, and they're all like, "If you want to know about it, like you can find it on the internet and stuff." And John's like, "You're CNN, <laughs> and you're saying they can go find the news somewhere, <laughs> like." And, and then they're like, "Well, let's get back to the red carpet." And John's like, "You guys are fucking idiots." I mean, that's 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 what it's come to. It's like people are more, and I guess it's easier. You know, you don't want to hear 
oh, people are rioting and people are dying and breaking into things because that's yeah. a bummer. But you want to watch the fancy pretty people on the red carpet. And Obama made jokes. Yeah. Obama Which, attempt to make jokes. He made some jokes. And they're actually kind of, they were funny because he was like bashing CNN and M- MSNBC. Oh, it was yeah, hilarious. Right. And I thought no one was laughing. Like, no, everybody was like, oh. And Obama was like, fuck you. I'm the president. <laughs> When's that new Tonka KLC coming out? Fuck <laughs> you. Fuck you. I do think it like, I think Obama's kind of in a chill place right now because like, he doesn't have to worry about running again. Yeah, he's... so he doesn't have like like I saw that thing where uh, Luther, like Key and Peele, like the Luther, or I guess it was uh, Keegan Michael Key. Yeah, you don't know what I'm talking about. I think I know what you're talking about. But yeah, he brought him on. Like, like there's a whole skit where like Luther is President Obama's anger translator. But he actually did that, of he, course. By oh, yeah. oh yeah, he did that. Oh, I thought yeah, that was just like a oh, joke. No, no, no he happened. brought the guy. Like he brought Keegan Michael Key. That's awesome. Luther. Yeah, I know. That right? is so cool. Right? Yeah. Like I think about like and I don't know a whole lot about politics, and I'm not going to get like super political because I know it's a weird topic for people. But like. I think it's kind of funny. I think he's in a good position. Like he can just have fun now. He doesn't have to worry about all the stress. Yeah, no, he's, and he's, the on the down, he's on the downslope of his camp. Like of his, I mean, he doesn't have to campaign anymore. Office. You know what I mean? He's downslope of his office. He's like this is usually the time where he gets sh- shit done. Yeah, but wow. and where you can like go back and be a normal human being. Granted, yeah. like there's stuff you know that no one else in the world will yeah. know. So uh, except the next president, but like Area Fifty One. Aliens, you know. Jet fuel doesn't melt steel beams. Exactly. So let's not talk about politics. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's your religion? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you worship? Uh, There's only one right answer. <laughs> and <laughs> why? <laughs> but, 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 Segway. <laughs> I want to buy a Segway. That would be fun. That'd be, That'd be very interesting. They're talking about riding around. Segways on the RT podcast. They said it was a it was a blast. Awesome. I could see it being fun. I could see like. You can't believe that word. You could do, <laughs> you could do a lot of things with a Segway. I think. If you Dude, Paul it. Blart made a career out of Segway. <laughs> oh, made, did he really though? He's got a, there's two Paul Blart movies, which is sad enough, but that's more money than I have, Kevin James, and or possibly ever will have. Yeah, you work at movie theater. How does how did that do? Um, so, it did better than I wanted it to. I mean, like <laughs> this better suck. <laughs> well, I mean, these past couple weekends have been slow because everyone's waiting for Avengers. You know what I mean? Like, and there's nothing really out. But like, there were times when like Paul Blart might have had like. 56 people in it which was like the most of the That's day a exact number hey, and that kids. was like unfortunate and sad you know what i mean and like the big thing like i think i think kevin james looked really good when he was in here comes the boom the when he was the mma fighter yeah, yeah. like he looked healthy right but like then he had a- and like even i don't even think in paul blart one did he look this big but he is he's big he packed on the pound and he just like does not look good like he's on screen and i'm just like oh Kevin James, man, like there's been some scenes where you can clearly see that it was CGI too. Like I even saw in the commercials for it. I was like, it's yeah, just, like he got kicked by the horse. Kicked by the horse, yeah. I was like, what? Oh, oh, I have something I want to talk about. Dick Cheney. Oh, I'm so, super quiet. Hey, oh, Shreen, you wanted to talk about something? Yeah. So Josh was over the other night. Yes. And we were eating dinner, yes. and I said something. Oh, I was talking oh. about I talked about no face. Right, no face. You know what no face is from? Absolutely. Josh has never seen any of those. Oh, I don't think so. No. I'm so sorry. So we're talking about thumb movies. They're made by Bob Odenkirk, Steve Odenkirk, Steve Odenkirk. I'm sorry, He's Bob's brother. I think so. I think, I think it is. I, cause I, I I've heard it on the new, the Nerdist before. I'm pretty sure that Bob okay. Steve. For those of you who don't know, Bob Odenkirk is Better Call Saul, Saul Goodman, or Jimmy. So his support, I guess, is his brother, Steve. He made. Uh, he makes. He used to make movies. I don't know. What he, he actually made Jimmy Neutron. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And um, so he made Jimmy Neutron, but he all, or part of or writ for it, wrote for it, or whatever it's called. He did stuff for Jimmy Neutron. Uh, he made a movie called Kung Pao. Excellent movie. Very funny. Watch it if you're a guy. It's basically Taco a, a, it's Bell. A, it's Taco a, Bell product placement. Taco Bell. Yeah, nacho sort of. Burrito, nacho and so, burrito. <laughs> and so he like it's a Japanese movie, and they just dub over it, really yeah. shitty, and it's hilarious. But he made movies called Thumb Movies, and they're basically just thumbs with cgi faces and the, and so there's thumb wars bat thumb thumb tannic blair thumb frank and thumb frank and thumb god thumb what's god thumb it's like godfather. godfather oh okay it's, it's oh. pretty there's a it's amazing the so movies are just so i don't even know they're not <laughs> good but they're funny enough they're that, so bad they're good they're like 15 to 30 minutes long oh really yeah, yeah they're, they're not like, even... like they're only 40 minutes long it's really nice and like um like Thumb Wars is hilarious, because like it's I'm pre- assuming that Star Wars with thumbs, yeah, yeah, and like J- Jabba the Butt <laughs> is just like it's just a chinigan. Do you know what a chinigan is? 
It's like where you the put chin like, and the eyeball, like the old Pop Tart commercials. Yeah. yeah, and so it's just like you can. T- it's like this tiny set, and there's just some guy with his mouth up against like the set talking as Jabba the Hutt, and it's hilarious. Nice. And like the Princess Leia is just like a thumb, and she's got two little cinnamon rolls on her on like the sides funny. of her. It's like weird. cinnamon toast crunch. No the taste you can see. <laughs> I saw. I'm sorry. I can't no, no, go it. ahead. No. Oh, I my fr- uh, So one of my bosses, he's really like he's on the internet a lot. One of those like guys who's into memes and all that stuff. And um, he's got he's changing the computer backgrounds. Um, so one of them was like a blind like a blind person with like one of blind one with a stick, um, like a drawing, and it said like Lisa lost her sight in a chemical accident. But even Lisa can see why kids like cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> I thought it was so funny. It just randomly pops up because he's got a bunch of stuff. That's nice. That's you, what I thought. Speaking of blind people, have you watched Daredevil yet? I have not watched Daredevil yet. I need to. My dad is finishing the last season of uh, uh, Sons of Anarchy. It's okay. a pretty crazy show, uh, crazy show. So that's been on the TV a whole lot. Okay. Like right. I said. Her. You've watched like... Did you, you haven't finished it yet. I watched... Spoilers. Daredevil? I watched Daredevil to the point with Kingpin and the car door. That's okay. what I, I heard about too. that, dude. It's only like the third episode. I heard about yeah. that. Woo! It's a... I finished the series... Face smashing. It is really good, and he looks really good in the new co- in the red costume. The red costume. The co- I've seen the costume. It's that looks only dope. it's only in the last episode. It makes sense because it's like his origin, and like the ending of it. Spoiler is a fight between him and Kingpin. Shocker. And like spoiler again, Kingpin doesn't die, which is excellent because they kill off too many bad guys in the Marvel universe. Um, yeah. So he's alive still, but like he looks really, and he's got the batons. And he like beats him with the batons and stuff, and he's all red, and he just looks awesome. And you're just like, that's the Dare- that's, awesome. that's the Daredevil we need. Yeah, not 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 the one we deserve. It's the one we need. Yeah, the no, one we need. We, the one we deserve. And they're, they're, it got renewed for season two. That's dope. And Charlie Cox said he wants the Punisher to show up in it. Who is Charlie Cox? He's the guy that plays Daredevil. Okay, he's cool. the actor that he, plays. That's what I thought. He wants. The he also new wants season. Yeah, they, they got. I think it got renewed for season two. Right. He also said like, hey. I want to be in, like, hey, let me have a little cameo in Civil War, um, which would be excellent. That'd be he, cool. He also wants the Punisher to show up in the new season I just said as well. That. Oh, the Punisher? I thought you said he wants to be in Civil War. I said that. I just said that. No, just... he, he did. We could play the tape. He did just say that. Oh, I'm... Of... But yeah. also, I'm hoping... That's pretty much what you... Like, when you tried to say something, that was what you were trying to say after he just said it. Anyways... Hashtag... Da, 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 da. There is an Easter egg in the Daredevil season... Where him and Foggy are talking, it's like a flashback in high school. Spoiler, not high school, college. And he's like, you know that one Greek girl that didn't really work out, which really means, hey, Electra. I was gonna say, yeah. and so oh. I'm really hoping like they cast Electra and Punisher and they throw them in season two. She's got the uh, Raphael knives. Size, size. 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 Okay, that's yeah. what I thought. Raphael, <laughs> dude, Ninja Turtles is where it's at. I don't know. Alan, Alan Richin plays Raphael in the new. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies. Speaking of the new Ninja Turtle movies, Shredder! which I thought I, I liked, because I mean, like, I liked the Ninja Turtles. It wasn't super accurate, and there was some stuff that was a little cheesy, and there was way too much Megan Fox and not enough of the turtles. Hey, Megan Fox, jump on this trampoline for your first scene. You know, yeah. Fun. Oh god, but like, the, they nailed the turtles. I mean, like, they were they were perfect. The personalities, yeah. Yeah, it was perfect. Yeah. Um, personalities were good. That was the only thing I liked about the movie. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, I liked the turtles. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but Michael Bay. Uh, uh, he released some screenshots of the new vehicles that the turtles. Yeah, I saw had. that. Like, That's pretty cool. Yeah. Explosions. <laughs> like the pizza truck. Motherfucking money. I don't know if you guys. Oh, like, yep. Yeah, the uh, epic rap battle of history. Yep. They did one with. Um, it started off with Hitchcock versus, versus uh, Steven Spielberg. Yep. Yeah, and, and then the directors. Tarantino came in, and then Martin Scorsese. Scorsese came, came in, in, and then, and then Kru- Kru- Kubrick. <laughs> Stanley Kubrick came yeah. in. Yeah. How do we pronounce the last name? <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm laughing because all this batch is funny, but... Ah, it's <laughs> funny! It's <laughs> <laughs> pretty funny. Um, <laughs> but they, they're bashing Michael Bay the entire time. Yeah. And, like, Michael Bay comes in in a helicopter with explosions behind him, and he goes, it's pretty great. this business is about motherfucking money! Because, like, they're all talking about how, like, their art is great and how they're great directors, and it's true, Michael Bay just, like, uses money, and, like, people bash the fourth uh, Transformers movie... But it made a, a ton lot of money, money. and they're going to make like, another one. Yeah, Dinobots. Oh, that's what got me. And China. <laughs> China. There was China, which helped them make a lot of money, too. Oh, yeah. Because they did a lot of shooting in China, which helped them sell foreign rights. So they were... Like, not only did they make a money, bunch of money in America, they just did a killing in foreign yeah. rights. Yeah. No. They released, like, the... It's really... 
weird because I read this thing that they're making some movie right now with Christian Bale, but they had to stop filming on it because he hurt himself. Ooh. And it's like, this has been like a reoccurring thing. With actors like, hurting themselves? Made, like, are actors like getting, I'm not saying too old, but like Harrison Ford like broke his well, leg on Harrison Star Wars. Ford okay. is old. He's a I different mean, story. But, but he's awesome. He's really old. Don't get me wrong, he is awesome. Yeah. He like, like, he like old. He broke his leg or something on Star Wars. Sturbers. And then uh, Johnny Brooklyn. Depp like stopped the whole filming of the next Pirates because he hurt himself. Really? Yeah. And then Christian Bale hurt himself they were stopping this movie. It's like, what are you? I don't know. I thought they're stunt doubles. But it's really weird. I, I mean, I also think like those are the guys, maybe not uh, Ford so much. But those are guys who are doing their own stunts. Or want to, and maybe not, like, shouldn't. But they're not Tom Cruise. I was going to say, Tom Cruise does, like, all of his stunts. And you haven't heard of Tom Cruise getting hurt. Or if he does, like... He's a The man. power of Scientology fixes him. <laughs> and he goes through and does it, you know? Yeah. No, but... Uh, Jackie Chan. Oh, yeah, Jackie Chan. That's, that's, that's all I can say. Just... But I mean, like, Jackie, uh, Jackie Chan, Chan, dude. Uh, ah, dude, like, Jackie Chan movies may be cheesy, but like I'll watch them because Jackie Chan does cool Jackie Chan shit. Especially if he has Chris Tucker with him, dude. <laughs> hashtag Rush Hour Seven. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> Look, those movies <laughs> are not good, dude. Rush Hour One, solid. Film. Oh yeah, definitely. Rush Hour Two, solid. Rush Hour Three, <laughs> <laughs> Shanghai, was in it. Shanghai Noon, awesome. Shanghai Nights, yeah. good. Did you, have you heard of those movies? I have heard of them. I haven't J- seen them. Jackie That's Chan Jackie Chan and, and Owen Wilson, right? Yeah. Wilson, yeah. Dude, it's a solid combo. But um, they released like the first official image of um, Johnny Depp and the new Pirates and Pirates 5. And Pirates it's just like five, it's just like a picture of him it's, like tied up on a mass of a, of a boat. And it looks like every other pirate movie. And like, you're like, oh. Ta-da, he's back. Hey, I, I, never, I never saw the fourth one. I liked the first three. I mean, I haven't seen them in a while. And the I first one is the best. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The second like the other... second one was okay. Well, the second one, they just set it up for this. This is going to be this epic, big, epic, epic, epicness. And I'm like, okay, cool. We'll watch it. Yeah. That like, was... I like Johnny Depp, and it's a fun role for him, but I mean, like, yeah. it's it now. You know what I mean? Like I feel five like, of them. Yeah, and I feel like... It was also, like, number... All of his roles are... Captain Jack related ish, you know what I mean? Davy yeah. Jones, giant squid. <laughs> this might not be. Ag- I'm gonna look it up, but I feel like Pirates Two came around the same time where all the other sequels were coming out, where like Spider Man Two came out and X Men Two came yeah. out, where all those movies weren't really good either. X Men Two was solid. Eh, it was okay. Oh, I'm thinking of I think, the Last Stand. Yeah, the Last Stand, as we said, not good. I thought X Two was probably better than X Men One. That's the one with Doctor Octopus, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. And even then, like, Spider-Man 2 is better than Spider-Man 1, and much better than Spider-Man 3. Really? Oh, yeah. Just, oh, yeah, I'm just, sorry. Dis- Spider-Man 2 was really good. just yeah. disappoints me what they did to Spider-Man 3. Dude, that, that whole email scene where he's, like, walking just, down the street and, like, uh, the, flicking, flicking uh, finger-gunning uh, women. Pew, pew. Just, like, God, tell me no, yeah, Spider-Man, what did they do to Venom? Sam Tom, just, like, Peter Parker might do that, but Tobey Maguire shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, Spider-Man th- 2, Sam Raimi Spider-Man 2. Right. To be not... To be right, not the amazing, not the, not the amazing Spider-Man two, the original Spider-Man two, so excellent amazing. movie, excellent. That was okay. Movie. Yeah, that was. I mean, it was okay. I like my thing with Spider-Man is like, if Spider-Man is doing Spider-Man shit, I'm happy. You know what I mean? He's swinging around, making snarky remarks. Uh huh. Like, like the animated Spider-Man yeah. show. That show is oh, ten out of ten. Speaking of animated Spider-Man, ten out of ten. The guys who did um, Lego Movie and um, Phil, it's a uh, Miller and. Lord. Yeah, they want to Lord, do Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> they want. Oh, wait, to is it Lord? Do... Yeah, I think so. Okay. Regardless, those guys, the guys who did the Lego Movie and Twenty Two yeah. Jump Street and Twenty One Jump Street, they want to do an animated Spider Man movie. Yeah, I know Sony's doing that. So it's confirmed. I yeah. think so. I yeah. don't know if it's confirmed or not, but I think that'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it'd be it would be kind of weird, I guess, because it'd probably be more like kid oriented since yeah. it's animated, which I'm not huge on because I feel like Spider-Man can be a mature character at times but like it's more Spider-Man if he's flipping I'm going to be happy yeah. they announced that Lego Movie 2 is coming out in 2018 and the awesome. Lego Batman movie is coming out Darkness. with Will Arnett is coming no out in 2017 so it's Phil Lord and uh, Christopher Miller that's what we got there we go got it we'll got, got it. get that right because those guys also made Last Man on Earth Right. Which is an excellent TV show. I've not seen it yet. I've watched like the first couple episodes. Really good. This guy like Will Forte. Will Forte's awesome. He's awesome. Oh, yeah. Kristen Schaal's in it. She's hilarious. Yep. Um, 
And then January Jones shows up, and then there's one. The spoiler, because he's obviously not the last yep. human on Earth. Yeah. He's the last man. Which makes sense, because like, I haven't seen the show yet, honestly. How could, like, I was talking about with my boss at work, like, TV shows are based off the relationship with the characters, and it's yeah. like there's only one character. Yeah, I mean, it's not gonna be a good TV. Like, I was watching. I mean, it was a movie. Like, it worked in uh, Castaway. Like, Castaway had other characters. You Wilson. Know I mean? They had Wilson. <laughs> no, I was when I watched because like R.I.P. Wilson. The premiere was Hashtag they had two episodes. It was the hour premiere, and like the first episode was like all the commercials, where it's just like him doing shit by himself. And I was like, how are they gonna make a show out of this? And at the very yeah. end, at the very end, he like finds another camp and he's like what and then there's like a girl she's like excuse me and that's how this episode ends and then it starts right into the second episode with Christian Shaw's there and she's hilarious so noise noise spoiler alert noise yeah spoiler <laughs> not seen... really last man on earth if you've seen any of the commercials so far or any of the promotional yeah anything. There are, there's obviously more people speaking of spoiler alerts and the um <laughs> you're already signed we're watching John Stewart last night. Right. They had on um, Emily, Emily. I'm sorry, no Elizabeth no, Olsen. Elizabeth Olsen, who plays Scarlet Witch in the new Avengers okay, movie. Cool. They had her on, and he's like, "Here's a clip for the movie," and they immediately go into a clip that no one's seen yet. Because no, it's, I think it's probably it's, been seen. It. I, well, I, I haven't overseas, seen it. Overseas people have seen it because it came out. Well, no, but we're it, not overseas. It's where, <laughs> uh, it's where Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver are like. Walking up to Ultron and he's sitting there in a throne with the like the 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 red cape, cape over him, sort of. Okay. Have you seen that sort of? No. Oh, I mean, I think I know what you're talking they're about. Just talking. They walk in a picture, but I've and never... they immediately go into spoilers about the movie. And oh. me and Brian are sitting there like, we're Brian has his middle finger like pressed against the TV <laughs> yeah. at this point. I'm mad. Why didn't you and have your middle finger pressed on the remote? Yeah, I'm he was it. special beam canning. I didn't. The TV. I was like, ah! you know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Yes, absolutely. And then through the whole thing, they they keep on going with the dialogue, and I don't want to say what they said, but I, we were literally fingers in our ear. I muted it, and then just I just like no, 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 we don't want to hear this, and it was almost embarrassing. I was like, I didn't want to hear anything more about the movie. Yeah. I we're said like, that we're literally s- two days away from seeing it. You guys are two days away from yeah, seeing it. Yeah, we're two days away from seeing it. I have literally to work it. it. Sorry, couldn't you just like okay. w- walk into a theater and stand there like you're doing something for work and just watch the whole movie? Pieces of the movie, yes. The whole movie, no. Because I did that one time. Because I do, I do theater checks to make sure everything's going okay. Right. And I did a theater check recently on Fast and Furious Seven, and I laughed the whole time. Now I know there are people. Spoiler alert! So if you want to see, if you're a diehard Fast and Furious fan, stop listening now. Don't go, friends. I have family. <laughs> but like, I go in, and he's fighting Jason. Uh, Vin Diesel's fighting Jason Statham. And, like, the bad guys shoot this rocket at Jason Statham. Or they, at Vin Diesel and Jason Statham. Yeah. And they're, like, it misses, of course, Vin Diesel. And it hits the ground. And then <laughs> Vin Diesel says the line, Think about street fights is the streets always win. And then he, like, stomps the ground. Yeah. And, like, the entire building collapses. Yeah, they're in a parking structure. Yeah, they're in a parking structure. And then Jason Statham falls in. And then, like, Vin Diesel's just, like, staring down this helicopter. And they're about to rocket Vin Diesel. And then the fucking rock comes out with this Gatling just gun. Waddling and he's just walking down with this Gatling gun and just unloading. And they're like, oh. So then Vin Diesel gets in his car and uses the power of NOS. And he jumps, and like he's about to hit it, and he skims it a little bit, and then he hooks these grenades on the helicopter. He's got bag of grenades. Exactly, and then the car just falls and he eats shit. And then, um, and then of course, The Rock, with his expert marksmanship, pulls out his pistol and like shoots the grenades off the helicopter, the moving helicopter, and that explodes. And I was just like, uh, what? It was a. Uh... He said bagger grenades, and all I could think of was bagger Dave's and burgers. I'm kind of hungry. I'm hungry. Um, <laughs> obviously, we should totally, in in the fashion of Rooster Teeth podcast, we should totally hit up some food after this. Yes. Yeah. Food. We should just fly to Texas and get Whataburger. Dude, Whataburger. Whataburger. I would pay uh, for that. Bro. RTX 2015. Dude, so Hashtag cocksuckers. Oh, speak, since I said it last time, I was going to ask you guys, have you guys got your tickets to RTX yet? Yes. Yes, you have. Woo! Yep. So pumped. We're going to RTX. Uh, so excited. Uh, got them. Maybe some of you guys will be listening to this are going to be at RTX. You can come talk to us. It'll be super cool. You won't know who we are, but... Well, eventually we'll have pictures up and all that. Yes. Hey-o. 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 And maybe I'll get... Well, now we just have to get Lee. Lee, 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 He might go. I hey, mean... That'd be awesome. He could. He wouldn't know anything. He'd just right. be like, this is cool. Yeah. He probably... I mean, he'd probably have a somewhat of a good time. We'd be I, like I mean, nerdgasming all over the place. Look how... Good for when we went, Good sport. When we went to RTX last year... Like, me and Brian knew Game Grumps and Rooster Teeth. Right. You knew Inside Gaming and yep. Rooster Teeth. 
You introduced us to Inside Gaming. We introduced yeah, you to Yeah, Every Danny Sex Bang. Exactly. Every and that's how and, our and now. we stumbled into the Game Over Greggy. Game Over Greggy the, podcast too. We and, even met and we found Greg. Gunsport. Yeah, we met Greg. We that have, was awesome. Oh, we got a picture with Greg and Gunsport. That was a oh, shit. Of course, about. we got the demo Gunsport in front of on the main stage. On the main, on the stage, main stage, man. So much fun. Yeah. Oh, for that the game to come out. Too bad there's no pictures of us. <laughs> there's there, no. There's a there's picture. One. No. There's, there's a picture pictures. of you. And there's a picture of Sean. There's another picture of Al and I. Because we took we, pictures of you guys. So, oh, wow. They're on the main stage. This is super awesome. We should get a picture. You asshole. <laughs> like, oh, that's cool, I guess. Fuck those guys. Yeah, so there's should. evidence that you were on main stage. <laughs> Nothing about Al and I. Sorry. Team ceiling breakers. Dude, team late start team for late the win. Start. Absolutely. Yeah, ceiling breakers. So <laughs> Breakthrough. Been, did you see that? Bust through it. Plus the ceiling. Last time in RTX, we were walking down downtown Austin. We were walking over to the convention center, and we stumbled across this building, and it was called the Christian Science Reading Room. Christian Science <laughs> Reading Room. Christian <laughs> Science Reading Room. And so, hopefully, Christian Science Reading Room. <laughs> so, if Sean's listening to this, he knows what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, he does. And yeah, uh, Sean. Sean texted us and said there was one in Ann Arbor. He found a Christian Science Reading Room. I saw room that in Ann Arbor. Yes. So he's gonna have to go visit it. But we us. were like, you're probably thinking that doesn't seem like an interesting store. Why would? Christian science just sounds interesting. Like, we're not trying to bash anyone, but I, as far as I know, Scientology and like it's science, not science. It's well, not, yeah, I know, uh, but like science, like, science, like, and like the, like science deals with the theory of evolution, and Christians don't really like the theory of evolution. And then there's a Christian science reading room, and then I was like, I we were we. That we was the like first to know thing what we Christian saw. Science would be. That was like one of the first things we we saw in Texas. It's literally the right across the street from the convention center. Yeah, and we were like, "Is that the convention? What is a Christian Science reading room?" That was our first thing. I like, hope. And then happened. you ran into a plant. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> tree. You're so distracted. I'm by it. so baffled. What I kind of hope happens is Sean walks in and he just goes, "Christian Science reading room. Christian Science reading." And then he goes. What? And then he just walks out. <laughs> hopefully gets his answer first and then I he leaves. What is it? What I guess, library. How does one Christian science read? <laughs> just a meme now. Just <laughs> What am the sky? It's just Doge. And he's just like, <laughs> much Christian. Sean just turns science. into Doge. <laughs> science <laughs> reading room. So much science. Lots of reading room. So Christian. Very nice. So we've been going for about an hour and seven minutes. Wow, that doesn't even seem like it. I know, right? Crazy. Um, is there anything you guys want to talk about? Talk no, about I'm... taco. <laughs> taco. <laughs> We're thinking of food, honestly. Dude, food on the brain. Mm-hmm. No, um, beef stroganoff. Don't forget to uh, follow us on Twitter. <laughs> yep, at, at Grabcast. I'm at Brian Roy. He's at Josh, Josh Biddick. You're at probably Black Belted Chef. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> um. But yeah, so uh, definitely, like we say, give us a follow, uh, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, like I said, we're still trying to get, we're working on getting a, a website up. Um, once like Lee gets back and we kind of all are in the same place, we can talk about stuff, kind of get that website worked out. Then we can hopefully get on iTunes. So it's a little bit easier for people to listen to us and get it out there. I know it's easy on YouTube though. Yeah, right now, uh, right now it's a little, it's a little more difficult just because I have to go through a couple extra steps to yeah. get it on YouTube. So it takes a little bit longer. So it's not as easy to me, for me to get it to you guys. Uh, but we're working on that. Um, I think next week we are talking about having an Avengers themed podcast. Yeah. I don't know if we'll talk the whole time. Like the goal would be really to talk the whole time about Avengers. I think that would be really cool. I don't know if we'll get well, like an hour. If worth. Lee's back, it's going to be tough because Lee doesn't know as much about superhero stuff as we do. Well, yeah, but I'm thinking. I mean, like Lee could Lee will see it. You know, I can take Lee on Monday to see it. You're welcome to come as well. I just okay. do. I'll see it again. Yeah, I, was, I figure. Oh, you'll I'll see it. it. I'll yeah. see it more than once. Just, figure, yeah, you can bet on figure, that. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the plan. Uh, we'll, I'll have a spoiler intro set up so people aren't spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Blah, 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 yeah, so blah. People, that way they know it's the Avengers cast. So, but yeah, uh, so I think that's all we got. Uh, like I said, follow us, subscribe, whole nine yards. Hope you guys like the podcast. If you ever want us to talk about certain things or you have recommendations, definitely uh, shoot us a message on Twitter, Facebook, uh, or you know the YouTubes. But yeah, I think that's it. Or the U boobs. Or the, the U boobs, sure. I don't know what that is, but boobs Hashtag is always fun. Hashtag cocksuckers. Don't forget it. Yeah. Don't forget that. Yeah, don't forget that. Go on, kick, go on Kickstarter and fund Al's uh, cocksuckers. <laughs> yep, it'll be up there very, very Never. Not, not soon. <laughs> All right. You guys have a good one. See ya. We'll grab you later. <laughs>